My name is Joey, and I had ACL reconstruction on my left knee on September 5th, 2018. I am a yoga teacher, and I am going to lead you through a chair yoga practice that you can incorporate into your, into your day. Um, please get your um, surgeon or physical therapist approval um, to make sure that this practice will be okay for you. Um, I also recommend that your knee, the flexion of your knee on your operative leg um, is 90 degrees so that you can sit comfortably in a chair. And you can do this practice with or without your brace. So enjoy. So sitting up nice and tall and sitting on the edge of your seat, mindful that your knees are in alignment over your ankles. And just press the feet into the, into the mat. Draw the belly in and up. Lengthen through the spine, drawing the shoulders on the back and down. And then notice if your rib cage is expanding forward and just ah, draw the ribs back and down. Lengthen through the crown of your head, not lifting your chin. And stem your breath. You may close your eyes and begin to inhale and exhale through your nose. Inhaling and exhaling for about four or five counts. Allowing that breath to be steady and even. And if you're familiar with your Ujjayi breath, where you engage and contract the back of your throat as you inhale and exhale through your nose, then I invite you to begin the Ujjayi breath as well. So take a deep breath in through your nose. And this time, exhale through your mouth. And let's begin. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Palms touching at the top, exhaling through your nose. Bring your hands back to heart center. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling through the nose, back to heart center. Inhale, reaching the arms up. And exhaling, bringing the hands back to heart center. And then bow your head, bringing your chin to your heart, and lifting your heart in towards your thumbs. And create an intention for your practice today. What would make a difference for you today? Would that be gratitude? Would that be compassion, patience, love, acceptance? Just being here in the moment right now. And use that as your intention for this practice, for this moving prayer, this moving meditation. And then lower your hands back to your knees. And inhale, reach the arms up, interlace the fingers and press the palms up towards the sky. And then exhale, lowering the arms down. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, draw the belly back, round the back, back. And then inhale, dive forward, reaching the heart forward, draw the shoulders back, lift the heart up, arching in the low back. Exhale, draw everything back in, rounding. Inhale, open. Exhale, fold. Little seated cat cow. Inhale, open. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, coming back to a neutral spine. Take another inhale here. And then exhale as you draw the belly back like we just did. Now take the torso over to the left, to the front, to the side, to the back. Little Sufi grinds, awakening the torso, warming up the spine. And when you get back, go the other direction. Good. Coming back to a neutral spine. Bring your right hand on the outside of your chair leg, or it can be on the outside of your seat. And inhale the left arm towards the ceiling. And then exhale, reaching up and over to the right. Keep the right shoulder drawing down. 
press into that left hip, tone your abdomen, lengthen through the spine. Now you can turn your heart up underneath your arm, looking up underneath your arm. You can keep your head neutral, or you can look down, whichever feels best for your body and for your neck. Inhale, coming back through center. Exhale, lower the left hand down to the other leg or the side of the chair. Inhale, right arm up. And exhale, reaching up and over, letting the left shoulder relax down, pressing into that right hip down into the chair, toe your abdomen, lengthen through the spine, and maybe turn your heart up underneath your arm, maybe look forward, and maybe look down. Inhale, coming up through center, exhale, lower the hand down. Now, repeat that, or Take your right leg and bring it out to the side, turning your toes forward. Leg is nice and strong, pulling the quadricep up. Take your right hand and gently place it on your right leg. Inhale the left arm up, and then exhale, gently slide down the right leg with no pressure on the leg into Parigasana, gate pose. Keep the abdomen drawing in, lengthening through the spine. Maybe turn the heart up again underneath the arm. Or maybe look down at your leg. Right shoulder, relax down. Inhale, coming up through center. Exhale, lower, and you turn your leg. Now, if you're not able to do it on your operative leg, again, repeat the first side stretch exercise. Take your left leg out. Turn the toes pointed forward. Left arm on the outside of your leg. Reach the right arm up. And then exhale, gently slide down your leg. Again, looking up underneath your arm, keeping the head neutral, or looking down at your leg. Inhale, coming up through center. Exhale, release the arm, and bring your leg back. Turn to the side of your chair. Again, legs are at 90 degree angles. Inhale your right arm towards the ceiling, and then exhale, twist over to the right, place your right hand on the back of the chair. Inhale the left arm up, and then exhale, left hand on the back of the chair. Now tone your abdomen, lengthen through the spine, and tone and turn your abdomen to the right. Keep your left foot nicely rooted, left hip rooted, no forcing. Good. Now take a deep breath in here, and then exhale. Lean over toward your left shoulder is moving towards your left knee. Stay here, or reach the right arm up towards the ceiling and all the way over your ear. Keep your belly gently turning in and up, pressing down through that right hip. Maybe look up underneath your arm or keep your head neutral. Inhale up and exhale, lower the hand down and come back to neutral. Take a deep breath here and sigh it out. <sighs> Turn to the other side. Inhale your left arm towards the ceiling and exhale, twist left hand on the back of the chair. Inhale, right arm up. And then exhale, right hand on the back of the chair. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. And exhale, tone and turn your abdomen to the left. Maybe looking over your left shoulder, maybe not. And then gentle pull back of your right hip. If that bothers you in any way, it's okay to keep that right hip a little bit more forward. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, lean over to the right, right shoulder towards the right knee. Keep your left hip pressing down, gently draw the belly in and up. Stay here, or reach the left arm up and over your ear. Good, inhale, coming up to center. Exhale, lower, and coming back to neutral. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, side out. Coming back to center, spread your legs a little wider. Now I'm keeping my feet parallel at this point. I'm not doing much um, external rotation of my hip or my knee and my 
recovery and rehab at this point. So I'm keeping my knees in line with my shins, ankles, and feet. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale with a flat back. So your, your tailbone, your sit bones moving back, heart moving forward, and bring your hands to the ground. You can keep the head neutral or let it hang, bending your elbows. Keep your belly engaged. And as you inhale, come up to your fingertips and extend and lengthen through the spine. Place your left hand on the floor underneath your nose. Take your right hand to your right thigh. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, tone, turn your abdomen to the right. Draw the shoulder blades on the back and down. Keep your right hand on your leg or reach the right arm up towards the ceiling. Take another deep breath in. And then exhale, lower the right arm and fold. Inhale, extend and lengthen through the spine. Place your right hand underneath your nose on the mat, left hand onto your left thigh. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, tone, turn your abdomen to the left. Stay here or reach the left arm skyward. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, lower the hand down and fold. Inhale, expand and lengthen through the spine as you come up onto your fingertips. Maybe reach the arms out like an airplane. Press down through the feet. And rise. Beautiful. Bring your hands to heart center. Okay. And bring your hands to your lap. And then bring your feet together. Now I'm going to bring another chair into the session. And if you don't have another chair, I will also give you options. So if you do not have another chair, you can take a block if you need it, or if you don't, that's fine as well, and a strap. And you can use a belt, a towel, or a yoga strap. So I'm going to extend my right leg out in front of me, again, on the mat, or you can take a little step stool or a block. Flex your foot. I'm going to bring this out a little bit further. And sit up nice and tall. Take your strap or your blanket around the ball of your foot. Take a deep breath in and lengthen through the spine and really strengthen your quadricep. Contract your quadricep. Have the strap around the ball of the foot. Press your right heel down. Hug your right hip back. Take a deep breath here. And then exhale, fold. Notice that I'm not collapsing in my low back as I fold. I keep my spine nice and long. I'm thinking of tilting my pelvis forward to send my sit bones back. Draw the belly in, lengthen through the spine. I have this nice long spine. Chin stays neutral. And even if you're up here, you're still getting a great stretch in your hamstring. Don't get attached to getting your nose to your knee. Inhale, coming up through center. And then exhale, bending the knee and changing legs. Taking my strap around the ball of my foot. My foot is flexed. I'm engaging my left quadricep. I'm pressing my left heel down, hugging my left heel hip back. Taking an inhale. And then exhale, lengthen and stretch forward or not, it's okay to stay upright, engaging that left leg and pulling that left hip back. Good, inhale coming through center, exhale bending the knee and bringing it back to neutral. Now if you have the chair, another chair, turn it to face you. Take your right leg, and place it on top of the chair. You can also bring your strap. If you're not able to reach for your leg, strap, towel, belt, awesome. Take a deep breath here, and then exhale, a little bit of a forward fold. No muscling, just a nice contraction in the right quadricep. Right ankle is flexed. 
heart reaching forward, spine nice and long, and smile. Never forget to smile. Good. Inhale, coming up. And then exhale, removing your leg and bringing the other leg on the chair. Take the strap, take a deep breath in, lengthen, and then exhale, stretch over your leg. Mindful again of leaning back, or collapsing back, up and at them. Good. Inhale, exhale, take your leg off the chair. Good. Now stand up. I'm planting my feet. I'm grabbing onto my chair. I'm hinging a little forward using that momentum. And you also have this chair too if you need help to stand. Good. I'm going to take this chair now and turn it around and move this chair out of the way for now. Take your right foot forward and your left foot back. Now in a normal position in yoga, that back foot is turned out a little bit, but I'm keeping it neutral to stay linear for the for my knee. And you can spread your feet a little bit wider apart for more balance. And press into the right big toe mound. And your left back heel. Take your right outer hip, hug that back. So you're squaring the hips. Tone your abdomen, lengthen through the spine. Hold on to the chair, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, hinging from the hips. Hips go back, right outer hip moves back, and I'm in a flat back. Stay here or bring your hands to the chair. They can be on the, in front of here or behind, whichever works for you. Now, if you're here and you're rounding, come back up to the back of the chair to get that nice long Spine. Keep the belly drawing in, lengthening through the spine. Take a deep breath here. And then exhale, bring your right hand to your hip and draw that elbow back. Inhale again. And then exhale, tone, turn your abdomen to the right, drawing the shoulders on the back and down. If you have your hands on the chair, you might be here. There's no right or wrong. So inhale here. And then exhale, reach the right arm up towards the ceiling. You can also keep your right hand here. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, lower the hand down. And slowly rise up. Inhale. Exhale, minimally, minimally bend your right knee. Inhale, straighten the leg. Pull the quad up, hug the right hip back. Exhale, bend the knee slightly. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Now you want to hug the legs in towards each other and the inner thighs in towards each other. Good. Take another deep breath in. And then exhale, minimally bend that right knee. Inhale, left arm rises. Exhale, down. Inhale, right arm rises. Exhale, down. Inhale, both arms. Now you may keep your hands on your chair. Just making sure the knee is not in front of the ankle. Very minimal bend, like I said. And the knee kind of moving towards the pinky toe as not to collapse in. And then bring your hands down. Hinge a little forward and step forward. Step your right leg back. Again, toes pointing forward, everything neutral. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, begin to hinge at the hips forward. For pyramid pose, modification for Parshvottanasana. 
So stay here with your hands, keeping your spine nice and long, or bring your hands to the chair. As you press down onto your left big toe mound, press into the right outer heel, hug your left outer hip back, right outer hip moves a little forward to square the hips. Draw the belly in, lengthen through the spine. And take your left hand to your left waist, draw the elbow to the sky, and lengthen again. Take another deep breath here, and then exhale, toe turn your abdomen to the left. Maybe reach the left arm towards the sky, or maybe keep it on your hip. Again, you may stay on this level, bringing the left hand to the waist and reaching the left arm up. Take an inhale, exhale, lower the hand back down and begin to stand up. Inhale, exhale, slightly bend the left knee. Inhale, straight. Exhale, bend. Nice and controlled. Inhale, straight. Exhale, bend. Keep the hands here or inhale, right arm up. Exhale, down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, down. Stay here or inhale, both arms up. Hug your legs in towards each other. Draw the belly in, lengthen through the spine. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, lower the hands down, hands a little forward, and step your right foot forward. Good. Now turn the chair around. Bring your hands by your side to Dasana, standing up nice and tall. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge forward, maybe slight bend in the knees, and find the chair and your flat back. Good. And bring your ankles underneath your hips. Keep your belly drawing in as not to collapse in the back. Draw the ribs in. Now you can stay here. Or begin to extend the right leg behind you. Mindful that the hip doesn't open, that you're wrapping the hip down. Kneecap points down, toes point down. And lower the leg. Inhale the left arm. Our left leg up. Draw the shoulders back, draw the ribs in, draw the belly in. Lengthen through the crown of the head, lengthen through the foot, and then lower down. And you can repeat that. You can come and fold a little bit more. Or lift the leg up behind you. Maybe lift the left arm to the side. Keep your left leg pulling taut, really engaging that quadricep. Lower the hand, lower the foot. Reach the left leg behind you, toe the abdomen, lengthen through the spine, draw the shoulders back. Shift your weight into your left hand. Maybe reach the right arm out to the side. Bring the hand down. Bring your foot down. Bring your forearms to the chair. Maybe walk your feet back just a little bit. And then coming back onto your hands, maybe walking the feet back a little bit more, a modified downward dog. And slowly walking yourself back up to the chair. Bending the knees slightly, draw the belly in, root the tailbone down, and rise up. Great. Now we'll move the chair back to the mat. And sit. 
your hands to your thighs, lengthen through the spine, close your eyes, and then come back to that intention that you created for yourself. One of peace or joy or gratitude, contentment, acceptance, being in the now. Bring your hands to heart center and Anjali Mudra, bowing your head to your heart. The divine light in me honors and recognizes the divine light in you. With much love and gratitude, Om Shanti, peace my friends. Namaste. Thank you very much. So enjoy a little bit of this practice, the whole practice, whatever you're able to do, and wherever you are is perfect. I wish you the best on your recovery and rehab. Thank you so much.